Hey well, Mike Chong here. In this video, we're going to do a inked review and we can do it with a logo or a text. And if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I release a new video. Now we can type a text. So let's type in ink reveal. It's a simple, easy text here. And we can maybe move it down so we can add the Premiere Pro logo on top of here. And make that smaller. Move it up, up a bit and the text down. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe logo a little bit smaller. And yeah, let's make this blending mode like mm, multiply. Oh. Color burn. Oh, actually, yeah, that looks okay. And let's make this ink reveal and what we're gonna do first is make a black video by clicking this icon here and click this black video. Already made one and that we're going to drag on top of here. And the transition we want it to be around like a full second. So let's make this easier for us. Move this to one second so we have like full seconds of nothing first and then the text and the logo reveal. Uh, do, let's do the logo first and then the text. And so let's at two seconds we have the logo. Let's do a cut here. And move this over. So make a cut here. Let's remove this. So we have here two black videos and we need to use uh, several effects. So inside of the effect here, we're going to use track mat key onto the logo itself. So track mat key here and also track mat key onto the text. And the track mat key, we're going to change this to Luma and change this to video four, where we have the black video here, do the same. Also change to Luma and change to video four. So that we can see, turn off those two. Now at the black video, we're going to the folder of video effects go to immersive and we're going to use fractal noise. Drag this into this clip. So we have dragged in the VR fractal noise and we're going to change our keyframe the brightness. So first drag this to minus 100 and then click the toggle animation to make a keyframe. Move this to the left and change this to 100 and move that to the right basically do this the same as on the second black video. We can copy the entire effect over. So what we see is this effect going on, making it fully bright and also here fully bright. However, because this is has like a lot of gray areas, we're going to change the contrast of this. We're not going to change the contrast inside of the fractal noise itself. We are going to add a contrast effect because this effect uh, yeah the contrast of the effect itself is not that good and also uh, do, does a few odd things now going to change this contrast to 95 both of them also to 95 and when we now play it you can see there's not that much gray areas happening anymore now when we 
play this can see the ink review and okay we can see there's a few errors happening um, for the text it works for the image there is an issue so the image we need to redo this uh, only thing what we need to redo is cut it and what we first need to apply is a nest to the image so this JPEG image we're going to nest first then we are going to apply the track mat key and then change this to Luma and change this to video 4 and now it should work correctly and also add that blending mode that we wanted um, let's color burn so that looks quite nice and then the text review under it so that was the ink review for logo and text. Hope you guys find this video quite interesting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button here below and make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I release a new video. See you guys the next time. Bye-bye.